guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, a uh, good friend at work picked this up for me from the uh, Cherry Hill Brewing Company. Uh, well, it's brewed in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. These uh, little craft breweries are popping up all over the place. Uh, so this is from Forgotten Boardwalk Brewing Company. Cherry Hill, New Jersey, a curious brewery and refuge. It has a weird, awesome looking label. Uh, it's called Last Brunch, 16 fluid ounces, 6.7% ABV, and it's got a cat with like a jester's collar with three eyeballs. <laughs> uh, take a look at that. Uh, and this is a coffee porter with cinnamon and vanilla. Now that's new. I've had chocolate porters. I've had coffee porters. Never anything with cinnamon and vanilla. So this is going to be good. Uh, profile is basically, it says here on the side here, light roast with hints of smoky chocolate. Notice, don't go down with the captain. Enjoy responsibly. Don't go down with the captain. Well, that's the story on the back. It's called Last Brunch, and it shows, look, the dead captain sailing away in a beer barrel <laughs> with his coffee and his last smoke. Um, and it shows the flaming ship going down. Uh, basically, the luxury cruise liner burns off the coast of New Jersey. The SS Morrow Castle mysteriously caught fire in 1934, consuming the ship, its contents, and 137 passengers and crew. The wreck burned for days off the shores of Asbury Park. Curiously, the captain was found dead in the quarters pre the previous night, never making his final brunch aboard the ship. So I guess that's why I say, don't go down with the captain. <laughs> so let's give it a crack, shall we? Interesting story from the state. Oh, I smell the chocolate already. Oh yeah, and that's got that nice porter color. Nice head. Back up just a little bit. If there's any sedimentation, but because it is a can, so I assume not. Right, let's see if we can get it all in there. Oh, yeah, we did. That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Brewed and canned by Forgotten Boardwalk Brewery. I mean, <laughs> that's a long name there, but all right. Cheers, guys. Nice color. Porter all the way with the color that dark brown nice head about a one finger head chocolate notes yeah I'm just getting chocolate on the aroma <sighs> nothing else let's see let's give it a taste Ooh, wow. Ooh. Carbonated. Burpy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you taste the chocolate. The mouthfeel is light. It's uh, watery. It's not overly chewy or thick. Like you think of a stout or porter, normally they're like a, uh, 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 you know, like yeah. Like a meal in a glass, right? Not this. Very light on the mouthfeel. I'm getting the cinnamon. I'm getting vanilla. Mm -hmm. And it is, as you know, March. So into the porters as we go. But I make porters all the time with my homebrew. So it's like, you know, I'm still working on my Craig 2 porter. Uh, and now, you, as you know, we just bottled the um, the English ale, the ESB. So, uh, all right, well, the head ain't sticking around there, but I digress, right? So, you know, I, I drink porters year-round. I make them year-round as it is, so it's like, for me, March isn't like just drink stouts or anything. I drink them year-round. Year you know my channel, so. All right. Uh, mm. If you get to New Jersey... I'm sure this is not distributed over state lines. 
uh, probably you just got to go right to the brewery itself in Cherry Hill to get it. So, um, but yeah, yeah, underlying notes of vanilla and cinnamon. I've never had that before in a beer, especially a porter. I mean, this is, it's interesting. It's very unique. I've never really tried playing with vanilla or, or any type of, besides adding the initial spices to my pumpkin beer. You know, I had the cinnamon in, cinnamon to it. But other than that, I never really added any cinnamon anywhere else. And it's always tricky with that, you know? Mmm. Mmm. But I am really enjoying this. And it's it's not a heavy beer at all. I mean, well, it's heavy beer. I mean, 6.7%. But it doesn't feel heavy if you get my drift. So I'm sure if you, you know, knocked a few of these out of the ballpark, you'd probably be feeling it. But, I mean... It's one of those drinks that it's a sipper. Even though it's easy on the mouth and on the palate. You know, like with my beer, going back, you know, going back to my beer. <laughs> let's just talk about myself, right? Uh, the Craig Two Porter, it's it's at the same percentage, 6.8%. And that's a chewy beer. That's like, you, you're one and done. You really can't have more than one. You know what I'm saying? This, you, you, you very well easily could have another one after this. You know, depending on your meal and what you're eating, but with that being said, it's it, it's I, I'd give I'd give it for what it is, porter with special spices in it and stuff. I give it an A. I, I I'm really you know I'm really I'm not gonna lie. I really am enjoying this, especially with the mouthfeel because I'm used to my beer because I just had one the other night and I'm just used to that chewiness where it's thick on my palate and it's just like, you know, you're like, rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> it's a meal in a glass, literally. And then, so it's like, ah, you know, you feel heavy after drinking it. This, you, you, you I'm not. So I'm like, hey, cheers, mate. So get yourself, if you get in New Jersey, try it out. I love the can art. I mean, that's really neat. Don't go down with the captain, but go down with this captain. So until we do it again, remember, <laughs> Let's set sail.